Alan Dershowitz braved going into the lion's den on Wednesday morning. He appeared on The View where he was met with hostility for defending President Donald Trump. Dershowitz crushed Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar and her co-hosts who didn't want to hear the truth. During one heated segment, the Harvard Law professor said, that's my point. As he silenced the Trump haters for good. You'll love this. Joy Behar, Alan Dershowitz, Whoopi Goldberg, photo credit, YouTube slash screenshots. Kudos to Alan Dershowitz for appearing on The View to talk about impeachment. Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar, and their sidekick attorney, Sonny Hostin, have already judged President Donald Trump guilty of all and any charges the Democrats bring, even if they make no sense at all. Joy Behar started out the segment with Dershowitz with a real bad attitude. Her face is squished up into a huge frown, and her tone is one of utter arrogance. Joy went up against one of the most hailed attorneys in this country, and she actually thought she had a gotcha question that would stump him. Professor, do you think Trump should go under oath like Clinton did? Behar asked, I've been a lawyer for 50 years, and I've never put any of my clients on the witness stand because it's easy to lay perjury traps for people, Dershowitz said. He wants to testify, but I'm not one of his personal lawyers and they have advised him not to testify. Sunny Hostin, who fancies herself an astute attorney, decided she would button and nail Dershowitz since it was obvious Joy Behar was no match for the Harvard professor. Alan, you just mentioned that you've been a lawyer for a long time and you have been a defense attorney, Hostin said, attempting to degrade his reputation. Even with the new Bolton revelations, we still don't have a guarantee that Republicans will vote to hear from Bolton, and my question is, what kind of trial have you seen that doesn't have witnesses or evidence? Many, many, Dershowitz responded. Hostin tried again, asking, okay, but if Trump didn't commit a crime, why not let the evidence and witnesses back him up? Because in my experience as a prosecutor, defendants always have a list of witnesses that exonerate them. Dershowitz responded with a hypothetical. Let me ask you a question. You're a prosecutor. You indict somebody for dishonesty, not a crime, dishonesty, he said. I didn't indict people for that, Hostin interrupted, not understanding she had just walked into a trap. That's my point, Dershowitz smiled, going on to argue that the defense did not need to call witnesses to a crime that was never charged. You would have a motion to dismiss, he added, the judge would dismiss it. Had cases like that which I've won based on no witnesses because no crime has been charged. I argue that no impeachable offense has been charged, Dershowitz continued. If I'm right, there are no witnesses. If I'm wrong, then the rule has to be if one side can call witnesses, the other side must be able to call witnesses. We must have equality. Fine, okay. Austin said like a petulant child. She had no comeback, and neither did any of the other Trump-hating co-hosts. Alan Dershowitz just got Sonny Hostin to make his case for him, and she didn't like it one bit. Dershowitz proved his case during the Senate trial while looking right at Adam Schiff and his cohorts. I'm sorry, House managers, you just picked the wrong criteria. You pick the most dangerous possible criteria to serve as a precedent for how we supervise and oversee future presidents, Dershowitz told the House Democrats. He said that all future presidents who serve with opposing legislative majorities now face the realistic threat of enduring vague charges of abuse or obstruction and added that a long list of presidents have previously been accused of abuse of power in various contexts without being formally impeached. Fox News reports, the list included George Washington, who refused to turn over documents related to the Jay Treaty, John Adams, who signed and enforced the so-called Alien and Sedition Acts, Thomas Jefferson, who flat out purchased Louisiana without any kind of congressional authorization whatsoever, John Tyler, who notoriously used and abused the veto power, James Polk, who allegedly disregarded the Constitution and usurped the role of Congress, and Abraham Lincoln, who suspended habeas corpus during the Civil War. Ronald Reagan, George H.W. Bush, and others would also probably face impeachment using the Democrats' rules, Dershowitz said.
The Harvard Law professor made the common sense case that all presidents have mixed motives when acting as the commander-in-chief, and the only time when motivation becomes illegal is if the president himself gains financially. In the end, the Democrats can't read Trump's mind, and Ukraine got their aid. This is not an impeachable case. In fact, it's ridiculous we are having to talk about this at all. Let's block ads. Why?